There are a lot of amazing wrestling commercials for various reasons. They put the wrestlers in strange situations, make them shill things they would probably never even look at, put them on cruises, they're awkward, funny, and they are Hulkasized. What? And I'm bringing you the top 10 of them that I feel like bringing up. So mostly 90s. Ish. Number 10, Anal Pro. All right, let's start this thing off with a commercial that's amazing for being stupid. And of course, the first in a list of commercials featuring wrestlers Features no wrestlers. Does feature an anal probe, though. This is that part of the Attitude Era that I always felt didn't understand why the other part of it was popular. This commercial for the WWF.com website, as it was then, is just an anal probe. <laughs> WWF.com, constantly probing behind the scenes to bring you inside information and the latest news of the WWF. Probing? That's seriously the justification for that? That's as clever as a Serbian film. I get the feeling they thought, Oh yeah, this will be edgy! But it makes me feel more like they're telling me the WWF website is as fun as an anal exam. That and they're getting all their news from up their ass. Yeah. Oh well, I'm sure Vince was amused at least. <laughs> Number nine, Hulk Hogan's big Fucking show! So, slightly above hands going up someone's ass is Hulk Hogan. They're giving away cash! They're giving away TVs! All cons, they're even giving away a bus trip to Cleveland! They're giving away cameras, comic books, a jet ski, and a one-night stand with the who! They're even giving away me! You know, I really shouldn't react before hearing the whole thing. I mean, that can't be as bad as it sounds. Or at least a night with me at a private screening of my new movie. Never mind. The Huckster doesn't even say which movie it was, but I guess he really didn't have to. And that kind of says a little about the film, huh? Come see my new film, brother! Which one? Uh, name's not important, brother, brother! It's got me! Well, motherfucker. It's the big show! Well, well, it's the big show! Jeez, it's weird to see Hogan burying someone like this. Uh, I mean weird for him to bury someone before they were around. Maybe. Nah, of course, the big fucking show, or the big censored show, or is that ellipses? Yo, Hulkamaniacs! MTV's got a brand new show, the big... Joke. Anyway, this was MTV's show that was giving you the wondrous opportunity to have an awkward date with Hogan as he explained what he was going for in that scene. Every scene. Oh, you see that there, brother? I was gonna reverse that child's bad attitude into a lag drop. And then what you gonna do when Nanny Mania runs wild on you? <laughs> well, motherfucker. Number eight, Angle's Pizza Trip Hour. This pizza commercial features a young Kurt Angle back when he was just a lowly Olympic gold medal winning wrestler and not in professional wrestling yet. Wow, Kurt Angle. Wow, I'm so excited. And I just can't fight it. Whoa, what's gotten into this pizza? One of the reasons I'm bringing this commercial up is the amazing delivery. Get it, delivery? <laughs> hey. 
I'm not sure the implication here. Either Angle's tripping balls or Pizza Outlet's food might try to kill you after it's taking care of its other enemies in the pizza. They square off. Tomato drop kicks. Pepper scooped him into an airplane spin. Big slap. No three count there. Tomato got screwed. Oh, great. I can't wait for them to go on for years about the pizza outlet screw job. And this commercial came out in 97, the same year as the Montreal screw job. Coincidence? I think not. And of course there's Angle's amazing watching of the tomato pepper match. Let's let him sum it up. Oh man, that was beautiful. Where's the integrity? Number 7, WWF Boyardee. WWF and Chef Boyardee dated for a long time, which resulted in a lot of commercials with different wrestlers. This is extreme. The zesty, hearty goodness of Chef Boyardee. You had Booker T's flashbacks to learning the spin because of the beef -rooney. And that's beef not beef -rooney. Tell me you didn't just say that. Wrestlers opening the cans in silly ways, my favorite being Kane using his pyro power to open them. <laughs> By the way, you can feel that almost anywhere in the arena. The pyro, not the pasta. Well, maybe the pasta. Ah! Also, look at Kane in his little apron. Cute! Jericho got stranded on a desert island, but learned an important lesson. If you're a chef by your D, license an instant parody! I am never... Leaving this island paradise. The Rock had a music video commercial. The Rock says, Chefy, uh huh. You smell what The Rock is cooking? Yeah, Chefy with The Rock, he's hot. Uh. <laughs> Got the best of everything to make a good time rock. Got a real fine ride with the chef inside. And the Rock says, don't be a jabroni, eat your Chef Boyardee ravioli. The Big Show sat at a table. <clears throat> it's the Big Show. But the one that stood out the most to me was Mankind's Boyardee of Or commercial, which was the first. A Diavor known as Mankind of the WWF. Have a nice day! He's never without his overstuffed beef ravioli and his call. Mm. Beefy! Unmistakable. Chef Boyardee overstuffed beef ravioli definitely feeds the need. It's the perfect ravioli for all mankind. You had Mick Foley either as some kind of animal in the wild or clubbing it up with a martini glass full of Boyardee. Mmm! Beefy! They were funny enough, but of course Mr. Cheap Pops took it to the next level. And if you're not done with that, I've got two words for ya! No, not suck it. Mmm! Beefy! Oh, I love Mick Foley, and it's great to love him right here on the internet! Comment, yay. Number 6, WWF Babies. Another WWF.com commercial, and this one is slightly above hands going up an ass. Aren't they cute? And so well behaved. Slightly above. <laughs> yeah, it's still juvenile humor with really abusive babies, but at least we learned that The Rock was white as a baby? What? Hey, Jabroni! Hmm? And this is definitely overthinking this silly commercial, but I don't care, I'm gonna do it anyway. I love that Dwayne Johnson as a baby was in full The Rock mode, then grew up and decided he'll be a straight baby face goody goody as Rocky Maivia when he first joined the WWF, giving him the lovely Rocky sucks and die Rocky die chance. Then he said, hey, maybe I should act more like I did when I was a baby. I can just see him pitching it to Vince that his new catchphrase will be what he used to say when he needed changing. So a bunch of people will be wearing shirts based on dirty diapers? Yeah, higher. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> also, I guess Kane's emotional scarring from his fake burns started as a baby. Dumb. If only they'd made WWF babies back in the day. That could have been the best show since Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling. Number five, the Hogan and Elf Show. Ah, uh, Hulk Hogan and Elf, the original odd couple. Oh, my ears. She's terrible. She's great. You're being too easy on her, Hulk. I like things to be easy. Why wasn't this a reality show? I would watch the hell out of that. I mean, it had to have been better than Hogan Knows Best. Like 10 10 220. Exactly. I know 10 10 220 is cheap, but it's easy too. Yeah, just like you, bitch. You've gone too far this time, Cat Breath Brother. So, what you gonna do when 10 10 220 Mania destroys you? Be you! Me thinketh that stinketh. Alf, it's about 10 10 220. Oh boy, I can feel that these two are gonna take it to the ring. It'll be the best match since Rick Steiner versus Chucky. I'm doing love scenes with Jennifer Tilly, and you're calling me a dummy? Say it again. Yeah? <laughs> we call you. Yeah. You're a dummy. It's cheap. Write about that. I want to write about no monthly commitment, dude. Someone should have told Hulk to team up with Alf years ago. We wouldn't have even needed the NWO. Could have just had Hulk uh, Alf's Wacky Adventures Mania. Yeah, I like that. Brother. Obviously from another mother. Screw you guys, too. Number four, 1-800-BETRAYAL. This is one of the greatest wrestling commercials ever, and I love it when Steve Austin does comedy. I am the champion, my friend. I am the champion. No time for losers, cause I am the champion. Whoa. Plus, it's got D'Lo Brown in it, who was awesome. Here's a receipt. D'Lo was a public certified accountant. Anyway, the commercial is Stone Cold Wrestling D'Lo, but he won't call moves or talk to him because he didn't use 1-800-COLLECT. But what manages to put this above Hulk Hogan arguing with old Cat Breath is Austin plays this like they're in a relationship argument. I'm not talking to you. What did I do? You're so insensitive. Dial zero when you called me last night. I should've dialed 1-800-COLLECT. It would've saved me a bundle. How do you think it makes me feel? Next time I use 1 800 Collect, I didn't mean to hurt you. Me neither. Looks like D'Lo Brown is blasting off again! This was also another ad that stood out because D'Lo actually referenced this one in a hardcore match. Hey, next time, use 1 800 Collect! Oh, I knew that was coming. But of course, WWF and 1 800 Collect had their competition with 1 800 Call ATT having none other than WCW World Heavyweight Champion David Arquette as their spokesman. <laughs> 1-800-C-A-L-L-A-T-T! Ah, the 1-800 wars. Those were the days. Number three, snap into Randy Savage. Now, of course, if you're talking wrestling commercials, you have to bring up the Macho Man Slim Jim ads. Wait a second, I don't have to do nothing, I tell me. Yeah. So I guess I will. Oh, yeah. These ads usually involve something mundane going on when Randy Savage would. Oh, yeah. Hmm, how appropriate. Yep, Savage would Kool-Aid man in and then insanely yell about Slim Jims. The more crazy these got, the better they were. Hell, Savage even managed to massively out-crazy the Ultimate Warrior in his pitiful Slim Jim outing. Look at this! He just politely waits at the garage door, and he didn't even tell the kids to take the controls of the Slim Jim plane and take it into a nosedive. 
Then you'll be able to snap into a Slim Jim. But my absolute favorite was when the Macho Man, fresh from his destroying Sam Winchester, decided to destroy an old man's business. So how many high school boys does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> what a light up your life? Yeah! Give me those Slim Jim! My store! You've ruined my life, Randy Savage! Here you go, have a Slim Jim. Yeah, let that console you. Yeah, while you're living on the street. Oh, yeah! I can't move! Step into a Slim Jim! Number two, Stinger Sprider. If it weren't for how influential number one on this list was to me, this would be on top of the list. I love this commercial. Woo! Wow, the Stinger. Timmy, I'm from the Dream Come True Fantasy Contest. You ready to wrestle? You bet. Mom, Dad, it's really him. Hold on, hold on. All right, so here's the point this commercial gets amazing, because you're no doubt expecting something after the kid's head is Sprite. Okay, now I'm ready. Yeah! It looks so real. Yeah! Don't count on Sprite to do anything but quench your thirst. <laughs> I love children getting beaten up in fiction. I love that this commercial swerves you. Oh man, the kid will beat Sting, of course, because of the sprite. Nope! <laughs> also, add that dream come true fantasy line, and it sounds like this is supposed to be a Make-A-Wish Foundation stand-in. So Sting is completely destroying a little dying boy. Nice, that's really refreshing. Just like Sprite. Spritz up! Number one! Kevin Kelly, 1-800-HIDES-ME! Today's program in Canada is sponsored by 1-800-HIDES-ME. Save 44% on your next long-distance collect call with 1-800-HIDES-ME. It's the cheapest way to call collect. Riveting stuff. The end. Bye. Not like these commercials. They look so friendly. I'm fake. Gonna break it down. <laughs> Number one. Hello. This commercial only aired in Canada, so I'm sorry if you're unfamiliar, but it's my list, and this is the most important wrestling commercial ever! Not really. I'll give a little background here, as some of you might not be familiar with Val Venus. His gimmick was he was a porn star and horny all the time. He'd always hit on the females in the crowd and start his promos with, Hello, ladies. Hello, ladies! This was also, of course, how his theme song started. Hello, ladies! And his Titantron video, like his promos, had a bunch of sexual innuendo. Also, he almost had his pee-pee chopped off once. Saw the message! Jumpy, jumpy, your pee-pee! <laughs> It was truly the best of the Attitude Era. At least no one gave birth to a hand. Now, why is this commercial so special? Well, first, you have Zellers pulling up to Zellers. By the way, thanks to this commercial, me and certain other special people actually started referring to Val Venus as Zellers. Hello. So, right off the bat, him substituting a department store for his sexual desire is quite amazing. To put it in perspective for those of you who never knew Zellers or Val Venus, it'd be like him driving up to Walmart and saying, I wanna come in you 
Walmart. Which is exactly something Zellers would have said. I mean, Val Zellers. The store probably wouldn't have wanted to come in another st- MOVING ON! If you watched wrestling on TSN in Canada, then you get these special Canadian WWF commercials running pretty much every ad break. And when they started running this one, it meant pretty much all your commercial breaks would start with... Hello, Zeller. Val, baby, what are we doing here so early? The store isn't even open yet. By the way, the guy riding with him was apparently the director of WWF marketing in Canada at the time. I'm amazed that information existed on the internet when this commercial itself apparently didn't. Yes, I had to rescue this commercial from apparent oblivion with one of my ancient recordings from the Dark Ages. You know it's old when it says Triple H wins WWF title for the first time. And what is just so exciting that has Val Venus sexualizing a department store? Like I told you, man, the big Val boast he has to get his hands on one of them WWF dog tags. And you see Zellers is giving away free with every single WWF t-shirt. That's right, Val, get your World Wrestling Federation dog tag and chain free with every WWF t-shirt purchase at Zellers. Dog tags? How desperate can you be to really want WWF dog tags that badly? Open the door! Dog tag and t-shirt exclusively at Zellers! I see... Damn it, why didn't I get those dog tags? It wasn't just me and my friends either who thought of this commercial too much. When I met Mr. Sean Morley, who played Val Venus when getting tickets to go to Raw, other people also brought up Hello, Sellers! And this had been a couple years since those commercials aired. Though probably not everyone renamed his moves like me, changing the money shot to the Zellers shot. He also had taken them to Zellers, lowest prices the law, lag sweep, and the Zeddy hug. So for earning Val Venus the nickname Zellers and being my most remembered wrestling commercial, it's on the top of this list that you might be wondering if I just made because I found this commercial on an old VHS. Yes. Hello, Zellers. <laughs> I just actually did that, didn't I? <laughs> And if you guys weren't down with this video, I got two words for ya! Hello, Zellers! I think a few janitors. <laughs>